Hey guys, what's up? This is Bernd Aufermann talking to you from the Angle TV studio. I just dropped by and uh, found a big surprise here. Uh, let's have a look at the prototype of the new Angle amp, which is called the Iron Ball. It will be exclusively featured on the 2013 LA NAM show. It's an all tube head featuring 20 watts and uh, quite amazing sounding. So uh, let's go for the details. The new Angle Iron Ball is a quite handy amp format. Uh, it has uh, an all tube design, which is uh, featured by a uh, 20 watt power amp section driven by two EL84 power amp tubes and four uh, ECC83 preamp tubes. The two channels can be switched here with this switch or via the foot switch Z4 if you like. And each channel has a gain boost mode. That means you can run the clean channel with a gain boost to, to get some crunch sounds. And you can, of course, run the rhythm uh, or the lead channel with an extra gain stage here as well. So both engaged will be the full gain blast, if you like. Beside the input jack, we got the gain control for the clean channel and the gain control for the lead channel. Both channels are sharing the same EQ, bass, middle and treble, and of course the presence knob, uh, which uh, adjusts the, the presence amount in the power amp section. This is the lead volume to um, give both channels uh, a good relationship uh, regarding the volume. So now let's go for the back of the amp. And coming from the power plug here, we got the two input jacks for the Z4 foot controllers. The first foot controller controls uh, the fixed master volume, which is called here the master volume boost, which is a second master volume for each channel for soloing, if you like. And um, the second control function here is the reverb. You can switch it on and off here. The second Z4 switches um, the clean and the lead channel and switches on and off uh, the gain boost for each channel. We got a serial effects loop here, send and return. We got here the adjustment body for the, uh, for the reverb level. This one is a quite handy feature. It's called the headphone out. Um, so you can uh, run this amplifier at uh, practicing levels if you like and plug a headphone in. This one is the, balance, the, the balanced line-out, frequency compensated for recordings, if you like. And of course, we got the output jacks for an 8-ohm speaker system or a 16-ohm speaker system. This one is a quite handy feature. It's called the power soak. You can run the amp on full power. It's an all-tube head, 20 watts. Then you switch it to 5 watts, if you like. And this one is just 1 watt. And of course, we can use it as speaker speakers off, which is on full load. So you can use the headphones if you like, if you have this, in this setting. Yeah, that's it basically. And uh, now let's go for some sound files. Okay guys, now let's go for the clean channel. the reverb. Now we put a little bit delay on it to see how the effect loop works.
now we're gauging the gain boost for the first channel. to single coil mode. With the head of delay. And now let's go for the Iron Ball Rhythm Channel. That should be enough gain for some lead tunes as well. And uh, now some more riffs. So we're still in the rhythm channel but with a different guitar. <laughs> And now let's go for some more uh, vintage tones. So now some modern style rhythm. <laughs> Now finally we're going to go for more gain and uh, for the soloing I engage a little bit of delay. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay guys, this is the new Angle Iron Ball and I'm totally amazed and totally thrilled and really sold on this one. Quite handy and quite exciting. For me as a guitarist, uh, this is kind of world changing. The format, the sound and the building quality. Thanks for your interest guys. See you all on the NAMM show in Los Angeles in 2030, end of January. Be there and see you in Frankfurt. Take care and bye bye.